All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about signing in to the Samsara driver app. Okay. Each time you start your day, you clock into ADP, whatever the case may be. Next thing you're going to do is get signed into Samsara. Okay. You should always see this driver sign in screen on the app. And this, this is the same, no matter if you're on the app on your phone, the app on the tablet is, it's the same app, no matter what. It looks the same, feels the same, operates the same. Whether it's the app on your phone or the tablet in the truck, this process is the exact same. Okay. So top line there, you got SAP Bros, which is our fleet ID. Okay. You see the capital S at the front there. The first initial is always capitalized. Next line down, you got your username, which would have been the credentials that were given to you. Typically, it's your first initial, your last name, with that first initial being capitalized. Password, you know, in most cases, it's uh, your location with the first initial being capitalized. Unless you asked me to change it to something different, um, it's going to be those sign-in credentials that we talked about. Hit sign in. First thing it's going to do, it's going to ask you to select a vehicle. Okay. If you have your GPS enabled on this app, you, you can see there it shows you the vehicles that are nearby, which is a handy way to do it. And then you don't have to sort through the entire list of assets. Or it shows you there the last selected vehicle at the bottom. Okay. Now, if you're just working in the warehouse, if you're just around the shop, um, you're doing propane service, whatever the case may be, Maybe you're not driving a commercial motor vehicle that day, but you needed to put yourself on duty. That's totally fine, and that's the way that it should be handled. You would just hit skip at this screen. You don't need to select a vehicle. Okay, so at the top right-hand corner, you can see where it says skip. Go ahead and hit that. Obviously, we don't have a shipping ID. We don't even have a vehicle or a trailer. So go ahead and hit skip again. And then it's asking you and checking for any uncertified logs. Obviously, every day we need to certify the prior day's log, making sure that it's true and correct, accurate. I've already done that for the day, so I didn't have any to do. It just moved me right to the next screen. Put yourself on duty. Okay, so go ahead and at the bottom of the screen on the blue button, go on duty. It says this step must be completed. Select a vehicle. I understand that, but we don't have a vehicle at this time, so I'm just going to hit OK. And then it's going to move me right to my home screen. You can see there are no vehicles selected at the top. Um, and that's okay because we're not driving. And then below that, it's got my name, my duty status, being on duty, the vehicle box, vehicle, trailer, or shipping IDs. So, you know, maybe I'm done working in the warehouse and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in a truck and, and go make some deliveries. I would just come back here to this section of the vehicle, or you can do it from the yellow tile down there that says yellow uh, vehicle. Click on that, and then it gives you the option to select a vehicle, trailer, or add a shipping ID. So if you wanted to select a vehicle, it shows you the last one I used was 1111, um, or populates by GPS the ones that are nearest to you at the time. So I can go ahead and select 1111 here. That's the tractor I'm going to drive. And then it gives you this confirmation screen. So you need to confirm 1111, 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. Is this correct? I'm going to hit confirm. Okay. I don't have a trailer right now and I don't have a shipping ID. So I'm just going to hit done at the bottom. And then you can see under my duty status there, it shows that now I'm, I'm selected on 1111. Okay. Obviously, the next thing to do would be to go through and do your pre-trip inspection and your green DVIR tile. You know, we have other videos about pre-trip, post-trip inspections you can check out if you need help with that. But um, for this video, we're just talking about logging in and logging out of the app. Okay. So let's say I'm done with my day and I'm parking this vehicle. I've done my DVIR, my post-trip inspection. Everything's all good, uh, safe to drive, no defects. 
So next thing I'm going to do is go back up to my vehicle tab. Sorry, Chad, I'll have to call you back. Vehicle tab here, 1111. Click on that. And then when you click, click on the vehicle button, you can show it says I'm currently selected to 1111. But since I'm getting out of that vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and hit leave. Okay. Now you can see on my screen that I don't have any vehicle assigned to me. Hit done. But I'm still on duty, right? But I'm all done for the day. I'm going to go in and clock out of ADP. So first, I need to put myself off duty. Go to your duty status screen. Click off duty. You can see at the bottom in the red, it says location required. Okay. I'm going to type Omaha. It's where I'm at currently. Save. Everything looks good. Save. Now you can see this box here. It says, are you done for the day? Would you like to go off duty and sign out? Or would you like to just go off duty, stay signed in, or hit cancel? I think it's really important that everybody, every time they hit the top one, the go off duty and sign out. That does a couple things for you. It removes you completely from the app. It makes sure that you're not assigned to anything. And that way, if that vehicle moves, it's going to be unassigned driving rather than just post it directly to your log. If you were still attached to that vehicle or still signed into the app, it's going to think that you did the driving. And it's going to just automatically assign any of that driving to your app. And maybe it's overnight. They're changing the oil in the truck or something. Um, that's going to screw up your 10-hour break, potentially just completely screw up your log. So make sure, best practice, go off duty and sign out every time. Go off duty, blue button at the bottom. All tasks are complete. Now I'm back to my sign-in screen. This is the screen that you always want to make sure that you're seeing. That way you know that you got completely signed out. Every time, wait for it to go back to this screen, and I promise you, you won't have any trouble. If you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of Brian or I, and we'll do our best to help you. But I think that that'll help you guys sign in and sign out of the app. Thanks, guys.